What's going on guys? This is Parker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA, and today some big news just dropped. Ben Simmons wants out, and most likely Tyrese Maxey wants out too. Both their agent from Clutch Sports want Tyrese Maxey and Ben Simmons the hell out of Philadelphia. Now, I made a video similar to this not that long ago, but now it's official and there's some news that I need to add to it, etc. Another thing is Joel Embiid tweeted on Twitter that he hopes the news isn't real and wants Ben Simmons to be there next year. Which I'm very surprised that he would tweet that, but also like, Linde, I don't know how sold he is on that answer. I don't know how much him and Ben Simmons have a friendship. But then day, you know, Joel Embiid's contract's coming near an end. In my opinion, I feel like he would want a better running mate, like a guy like Damian Lillard or a guy who can get him over the edge. Now, Ben Simmons preferably wants to go to a California basketball team. So that narrows it down. Now, I don't think the Lakers are an option because they would have to give up a guy like Westbrook, who they just got. So I don't think that's going to happen. Because they don't have other guys making a lot of money to make the money make sense. And obviously they're not giving up LeBron or AD for Ben Simmons. Clippers, I can see that happening. They have a lot of guys making a lot of money. They have some young rookies that they just drafted with high ceilings like Keon Johnson, Jalen Preston. They have a good amount of young guys and great role players making a lot of money that they can make the money make sense adding guys like Reggie Jackson, Luke Kennard and other pieces but the two in my opinion that have the highest chance of getting him are Golden State and the Sacramento Kings. Now I'll start with the Sacramento Kings the only problem with the Sacramento Kings trying to get Ben Simmons is most likely they would have to include De'Aaron Fox or Tyrese Halliburton and most likely a guarantee on De'Aaron Fox. If they can get Ben Simmons somehow without De'Aaron Fox and the 76ers are okay with it, I'd be very surprised. But if I'm the Kings, I would not give up De'Aaron Fox for Ben Simmons. I know they had one of the worst defenses of all time last year, so I understand, oh, Ben Simmons was second in Defensive Player of the Year voting. Amazing defender, can play make, obviously can run the point guard if they give up De'Aaron Fox. But De'Aaron Fox looked like a near all-star last year. I wouldn't give him up for a guy who's got a lot of question marks on him on offense. And obviously had one of the worst free throw shooting performances of all time in the playoffs last year. And they should have beat the Hawks, but they didn't. Based solely on Ben Simmons', ben Simmons performance each game so in my opinion I would not give up De'Aaron Fox if the Kings can somehow include other pieces to make the 76ers agree without including De'Aaron Fox then I would accept it but also I don't know how good of a fit De'Aaron Fox and Ben Simmons would be defensively it would be amazing but I don't know how well that would be especially spacing wise because they both like going to the rim now the team I think has the best chance of getting him. I literally talked about it in last video. The Golden State Warriors. Obviously, if they can somehow package Draymond Green, a lot of the young guys they recently got in the draft, maybe Andrew Wiggins instead, but they have to get rid of Draymond Green if they're going to get Ben Simmons because they do not fit together. They both cannot shoot very well, and they're both similar play styles. But if you can somehow include Draymond Green, a bunch of your young assets and role players, and get Ben Simmons on Golden State, it's a question mark. Who is the better team in the West for the super teams of the Lakers and then going to be Golden State? Because if they get Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons is literally just a better Draymond Green. And Ben Simmons won't have to worry about not getting enough playmaking on the team because he will be the main playmaker. Draymond averages the most assists on Golden State. Add Ben Simmons into that. He'll play better defense, anchor the defense, and also make most of the plays for Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. I think it'd be a match made in heaven. It's just how much are they going to have to give up to get Ben Simmons to make the 76ers agree. 
Because obviously they're not giving up Steph. They're not giving up Clay. Andrew Wiggins is questionable. They need to give up Draymond in the trade. And then also, do they have to give up a guy like James Wiseman, who has a really high ceiling? But also, they already have two centers in Drummond and Embiid, so hopefully they can just package their top rookies and maybe some of their veteran role players like Otto Porter, maybe Jordan Poole. But then they, I think Golden State has the highest package. They have the best package to be able to get Ben Simmons. And I think he's also the best fit if they can include Draymond in the trade. Let me know what you guys think. Where will Ben Simmons end up? Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. I make NBA videos all the time, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Peace.